Hello. Um, I wanted to give some thoughts on speed pads since I've been using them for a little while now. I, this is kind of a third day in sort of update, so opinions may shift slightly, but I think um, this is appropriate for kind of a, in, not initial impressions, but like a slightly considered opinion after having tried it for a decent amount of time. Um, so the two that I've got are the Skypad 2.0 XL in white, and then a Rocket Sense Pro. Um, they do feel pretty similar overall. Uh, generally speaking, I, I think the Skypad seems to offer a marginally better balance uh, in that it's just as fast, but I think it's slightly, it feels slightly more accurate. It's slightly easier to stop the mouse exactly where I want to for flick shots compared to the Sense Pro. Um, so if you want to talk about which one is the best performing, it's the Skypad. The downside to it is I think it requires you to wear this kind of a sleeve if you're going to use it. Um, I mean, maybe if you're somebody who has really dry skin, you don't sweat much or very easily. Um, maybe you don't have to. But for me, I'm kind of a sweaty dude in general, eh, which is, you know, lovely. But anyway, it means that the base of my palm in particular gets sort of clammy when I play. And if I'm not wearing this kind of a sleeve, then the mouse moves fine, but my palm gets a lot of static friction on the sky pad, and that's where I need this type of a sleeve to prevent that from becoming an issue. So, um, normally, for anybody who doesn't know, I'm a control pad person. Uh, I'm in a, a GameSense radar which is very much on the slow end of the spectrum. It's it's consistent, it doesn't change speed a huge amount with humidity, but it's not a fast pad. And so my typical thing is to be, you know, m m I, I don't have very good tracking aim, so I tend to play games more based off of click timing and flick shots. And the way that I would typically do it is get my control pad and figure out if I wanna go from here to here, how hard do I need to push the mouse so that the control pad stops the mouse at pretty much the appropriate place. What this type of a speed pad allows me to do instead is focus on not starting the motion, but stopping it. So the muscle expenditure or the, the muscle motion becomes focused around stopping the pad and the mouse in a particular spot rather than starting the mouse with a particular amount of force. So it's a, it's a similar overall experience. You just put the major focus at the other end of the motion. Um, and presumably, according to the community, this type of a speed pad has additional benefits in terms of tracking aim. But at least for me, I, as far as I can tell, I perform basically just as well with this pad as I do with, with my radar. Um, it's a different feel and I have to adjust to it, but I do perform well with it, which I was surprised by. Um, I've tried some other fast pads before and they just felt massively uncontrolled. Like I would try to stop a flick shot and, and it would, and it would kind of keep going. And then my, my hand would like correct back naturally like this. So I would always have this kind of overshooting motion on my flicks and it just felt really sloppy and hard to aim. Um, this pad and the Sense Pro do a much better job of preventing that feeling from occurring, even on, I mean, this is like a 75 frame mouse, so it's it's not an ultra light, super hyper, you know, lightweight thing, but it's it's usable on this kind of pad, which is nice. Um, again, the biggest thing is that the Sky Pad, if you're willing to wear this kind of sleeve and make sure you don't get crap all over the surface, is the better performing pad. Although I'm going to say it's a margin of, of at most 5%, probably less. Um, they're actually very similar feeling pads overall. And so what I like is that I can go from the sky pad to the sense pro. And right now I'm feeling some extra control. And that's because the way that the sleeve material interacts with the surface of the sense 
Pro gives more control. Um, there's more drag on the sleeve. But I can take the sleeve off and use the Sense Pro just fine and have a very similar experience to using the Skypad with the sleeve. So if you're somebody where um, cost is a concern or you don't already wear this type of, of sleeve all the time, or you're not sure if you have particularly dry arms, uh, I would give the Sense Pro a try. I mean, it's 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 30 bucks for a 450 by 450 pad. And like I'm saying, it's, it's you know, 95, 96% of, of a Skypad. Um, and it's much lower maintenance. So all in all, I've been very happy with it. And this is probably the pad I'm going to keep. Uh, and just, it's nice to know that there are fast pads which don't feel super ultra sloppy and which I think I can play well with. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I've been really enjoying these pads and I'm going to keep using them for a while and um, I'll see if I can get used to them and get any better, uh, maybe break some, some personal records. But anyway, for now, uh, if you're thinking about speed pads and you're somebody coming from a control pad background, uh, I would recommend giving this pad a try because I think it's probably the best value I've seen in, in speed pads so far. If you guys have any other suggestions or you think there's something out there that's better, uh, please let me know. Again, I'm still not the most educated on speed pads, but um, this was something that I thought was cool and I wanted to share. So yeah, thanks.